now that I have my basic layout done, I have my images placed inside, uh, you know, background graphics, text, and all that, I might start combing through my document and really analyzing my images. Um, even though we have the best of intentions, sometimes we need to go in and make some tweaks, adjust, you know, brightness and contrast, change the color of things, whatever that might be. And that's really done outside of InDesign. And that's going to be done back in Photoshop or Illustrator. So what some people do is they go in and make the edits, save it, and then do a new file in place in the InDesign. Well, you don't have to do that. What you can do is activate whichever image you're interested in and then right click on it and do edit original. So I'm going to do this dear silhouette to make it a simple example. I am going to click on it and then right click and grab edit original as my option. When I do that, it will open it back up in the software that it originated from. So in this case, Photoshop. If it was a vector from Adobe Illustrator, it would have opened back up in Illustrator, which is really great. So in here, I'm just going to make a quick change. I'm going to go to Image and Adjustments and Hue and Saturation. And what I'll do here is just colorize this image, pull up the lightness and the saturation just to make it a really nice bright color, something that's obvious. I'll say OK. And then here I will do a file and just a save. Don't do a save as because it won't update in your InDesign document. So it's a file and a save. Then I can just minimize this. And when I get back to Illustrator, or not Illustrator, InDesign rather, you'll see that it's updated as red. So it's just doing a simple edit original. And you can go through your document that way. It's a whole lot easier to work with, and then um, you won't have any broken links, and it's a, it's a very time-saving device. Now, if you haven't worked on an image in Photoshop, if it's opening up in like the Microsoft Previewer or something, you're not going to find that very useful. So what you want to do, uh, perhaps like right as you're getting started, is go into the folder where you have your images. So here are all the images from my project. And when I look at one like this table, for example, it's just an image off the internet. It's a JPEG. I didn't work on it in Photoshop per se. It's not a Photoshop file. If I right click on this, what I need to do is come in and s select open with. And then in this open with menu down at the bottom, you'll see choose default program. So, so I click that and just wait for a second and it will bring up a menu that allows me to say that for JPEGs I want Photoshop for example to be the program that it automatically opens in um, not paint not the photo viewer for example but I want it to open in Photoshop and I'll say OK and now that image will open up in Photoshop so it's important to say that you want that to happen, open with, and if you want that to happen with every single JPEG, just say, always use a selected program to open this kind of file. Once you do that, you'll be able to use Edit Original very effectively in your InDesign document.